G'day everyone, Dan here. Welcome to North Queensland Barbecue and Brewing. Today we've cooked a lamb shoulder and we've essentially made pulled lamb. And we've done that using Matt's rub. Once again, Matt, I'm joined by Matt, uh, with Matt from the Scorching Saddle Chili Company. Hello guys. And today we've used the bull dust. And this rub here is the same rub that we used a few weeks ago when we did our beef shin and made the pulled beef. So we've made this lamb shoulder, cooked it for about eight, nine hours in the, um, in the offset smoker to make pulled lamb. And uh, to see how this is done, just keep watching the video and we'll go through the whole process. So we got this lamb shoulder here, bone in, and I bought this the other day. And it's, uh, it's actually a bit weird, if you can have a look in there, it's got ribs on it and a little bit of the lamb chop there. And I want the shoulder because I want to pull this, pull this shoulder. And it's got the bone in down here for the shoulder. So what we're going to do, we're going to trim these, trim these ribs off here. We started before just to have a look because we weren't quite certain of the meat cut. I'm just going to take that off and um, down where the fat is in between this fat here and just just get it off because I think it's two separate cuts of meat and I reckon if we do this low and slow to pull I don't think it's actually going to work the way we want it to it's going to end up being tough and not pulling whereas the top section should pull so I'll trim this up today we've got uh, once again we're using Matt's rub from the Scorching Saddle Chili Company and we're using the bulldust the same one we used on the um, on the beef shin uh, about a month ago in our la last video we did together and so with the cumin and all the flavors that it has we just think it's going to go really well on pulled lamb so that's what we're doing essentially we're making a pulled lamb but with the cumin based rub again and we're going to do these on tzatziki wraps so yeah they should be pretty good um, i've done pulled lamb before with a pulled sho oh, the, uh, shoulder um, a little bit different to this shoulder here obviously but um yeah we'll see how this goes so that's that's now we've got two different sort of cuts there. I'll trim that up and we'll actually, like I said, they look like mini lamb chops. It's almost a tender and I don't, I don't know how that's going to go pulled. Um, if you do know, let us know in the comments. Uh, but you've got the ribs there, so we figure that'll be our snack. And we're left here with this. So that'll feed us um, and probably do quite well and make our pulled lamb out of that. Um, trimming wise, I'll take a bit of the fat off because I, I want to get the rub once again onto the meat. But I'll leave a little bit on because lamb fat... It renders nicely and it just, it'll just it add a lot of flavour, but I'll still get rid of a lot of these bigger chunks here that aren't necessarily needed. Um, so once again, we're using the um, the bulldust rub here, and Matt's explained this before in videos. I'll just trim a bit of this crap off. Um, but yeah, Matt, Matt will obviously um, let you know about this rub again in case you haven't seen the previous videos. Okay, so this is our bulldust, uh, mainly for red meat, um, beef, lamb, um, yeah, anything red, it really complements the, the red meat with the uh, cumin, oregano, um, garlic, a few other spices in there. Again, we've used three types of chilies, um, a mild one, a smoked one, and a, um, a sweet one. So, um, as you've seen maybe in our other videos, although it's a chilli-based rub, um, with the low and slow, it doesn't um, give you the heat. That heat turns into a nice, sweet, um, mellow flavour, but absolutely delicious. So, um, yeah, the bull dust, um, really nice. It's uh, it's it goes with majority of red meats. Um, yeah, really enjoy this one. Uh, it's one of our best sellers. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, come and have a look at our website www.scorchingsaddlechilicompany.com.au. You can see our other rubs and some of our other products we do. Um, really looking forward to seeing this uh, with the lamb. I haven't used it on lamb before, so um, I think it's going to complement it really well and it'll be delicious. So, yeah, go and check out our website. Um, yeah, any questions, please get in contact with me and we can answer them for you. Um, thanks very much. Yeah, so this here, I think it's going to pull fairly well, this, this piece of muscle here. It's not that big. It's probably a kilo and a half of meat and that. And probably six, seven hundred grams in this, so... We we don't need to feed a, a massive amount of people. It's just me, Matt, and uh, and Louise and Eric today. I don't know your family coming. Uh, they might. They might. So yeah, we'll have enough with what we're going to do. All right. So we've separated this. We've got the shoulder part here, and I've trimmed that right off and got the silver skin off. So that's how we're looking. And you can see I've gotten what I could most of the silver skin off, and that's going to pull rather well. We uh, ended up with the ribs here, and this is almost like. A rib rack or the end of the rib rack and I dare say that piece is going to be really tender that sort of loin tenderloin almost looking piece through there is going to be quite tender so we're going to cook that separately and we got the ribs here and then we 
trim this off as well. It's almost like a bit of skirt steak, but it's lamb and it came between the shoulder here and the rack. It was actually on the top here. So yeah, we've trimmed that as well, just as something to eat during the day. But what we're mainly focused on, we won't worry about these two, is this part here, the shoulder part with the bone in. You can get them bigger. Um, we didn't need much. But we're going to give this, we're just going to give it one coat. I'm not going to worry about putting a, a salt on it or anything like that. I don't think it needs it. So I'm just going to go with basically the, uh, the bull dust. And I'm just going to give it a nice coating of this. So I want to sort of get a nice thick coating, get that cumin flavour into the meat. And we're going to let this basically rest just out here on the bench for about five minutes or so uh, before we get into the smoker. And, and already now I can smell that, that cumin. And it was, it was absolutely lovely last time we did it on the, um, on the beef shin. It came up an absolute treat. Um, so just with the lamb, it's obviously going to be a bit of different. We're not going to do tacos with this, although you could. You could do tortillas, you could do birria tacos, um, which is a plan for the future. Get a, a rather large, this was the only shoulder I could get, but get a really large um, lamb shoulder and do birria tacos and they'll come up a treat. So that's seasoned, that's it. Um, I haven't figured out quite what I'm going to do these with yet. I've got a different seasoning inside I might use on them. But I'll give this five minutes and then we'll get that into the smoker down the cool end. And we'll come back when we're ready to get this on the smoker. All right, so we're ready to go with our three cuts of meat. First the rib part, I've got a little bit of tenderloin sort of on it. I'll put that down the back here, cook it nice and slow. And now um, our shoulder part down here as well, nice and slow. And what I did with this, I actually rolled it up, that flap, I rolled it up and we base, basically just covered it with the rub. We're hoping to sort of have it pull as well, but we'll see, we'll see, we're mucking around. And I'll just put that in there as well. So we're good to go. They're all in there and we'll probably give them three, four hours and we'll just test temperature. To pull lamb, you want it to be 98 degrees. So yeah, we'll just go probably up to about 68, 70 and then wrap it. The, the rack of um, ribs there won't be long. I'll give that now and we'll be having that for lunch. So yeah, we'll come back and we'll see how that all goes. So I've reached that magical internal temperature of about 68 degrees, which I'm happy to wrap it. So coming along quite nicely. We um, we did the, the ribs with the little lamb chops on them for lunch. We reverse seared and then uh, did it to 55 internal and seared them off and they were absolutely amazing. So get this off, this bit of shoulder we're doing here. And I've also still got this this piece here that we sort of did, and it's sitting about 69, 70 as well. Um, I'm hoping it shreds, I don't know, I've, I've never sort of done it like this, but I'm gonna put that, I'll do that separately in another piece of alfoil. What I'll do is I'm gonna put some butter on this. So I have um, i don't have any compound butter, I wanted to make some up and uh, sort of haven't got around to it yet. I bought this block to make compound butter, but I'm just gonna put this on just to give it a little bit of moisture. And uh, although it should have, I did trim a lot of the fat off. This will just add, add a bit of fat content to it. And you, you really can't go wrong with a bit of butter. So I'll, I'll bring that camera in and show you what we're looking at. That's our piece of meat there and that's how it's looking. Put a little bit of butter. I'm going to wrap it in the alfoil. It's obviously going to go back in now till it reaches an internal temperature of about 98 degrees. And that should pull. All right, so this uh, this lamb shoulder's reached that internal temperature now of about 96, but it's probing really well. I, depending on what it's like, generally if you leave it go to 98 degrees, it, that's when it'll pull. But if you're probing it, it's probing really tender going through, then pull it off. There's no point. Letting it rest for about half an hour, that curry over cook will probably take it to temperature before it drops off, you know. So you might peak at 97, which it should be right to pull. So we're going to get that off. It's still wrapped. And I'm basically... Just going to leave that now in my tray here and give it half an hour to rest and hopefully that'll be right. All right, so this is good to go, hopefully. And um, we haven't unwrapped it yet. Get all those juices out. And I'm hoping, oh yeah, plenty of juice. Now the, the, first, the first key to this actually shredding and being good is that bone coming out nice and clean. I just want to get all that juice in there because I want that in the meat. But if that bone comes out clean, which it's looking like it's going to, that's a good sign that it should shred. So I'll pass that on to Matt so he can hold the juices there. We don't waste any of that. Juice pulling. And let's, uh, there you go. Hey, so if this bone <laughs> comes off like that, hey, you know it's going to be good. Get this other one out because this is still really hot. Cuddle. <laughs> Eric, yeah, I'll give you a cuddle in a minute. 
So now the same as pulled, pulled pork, we just want to shred that and basically we're just going to do that and shred that apart and that's coming apart really nicely and cleanly. So, And there's plenty of juice that's coming out. Adding that little bit of extra butter is going to add that extra bit of juice that we want. So that's good. So we'll get this all shredded up and mix all this butter back in, which we want to do and get any of the gristle out. There's a little bit of gristle here and we'll come back when we're ready to serve. Okay, so we're now ready to serve these and basically what we're going to do with this lamb we're going to just add some tzatziki basically onto a wrap and this is actually, I've done this before and it's quite pleasant so add a little bit of tzatziki as much as you wish and then our lamb goes on and what I did today, I actually um, roasted a couple of char grilled some capsicums and uh, they've come up really nice, I peeled them we're going to add them, they're cold but you can have them quite fresh if you want, I just I did them earlier in the day some red onion and a bit of cheese. And that is basically it. Bob's your uncle. And that's how I do them. So obviously you can use this meat, birria, tacos, or whoever you wish, but that's just a real simple way of doing it. Thanks, Johnny. Off to have a go. Um, that's really good. So yeah, give that a go, guys. I, I guarantee you won't, you won't regret it. So until next time, guys, take care. See you guys.